Greetings everyone, hope you're all keeping well out there. As I'm sure you all know by now, my name is Alex and today we have a bit of an exclusive. It's a very exciting moment in fact because we have been given this awesome looking robot which is in fact called Handy Blocks. Now it appears at some point, whether you like it or not, robots are just gonna take over the world. I mean, we've got Amazon opening shops at moments where you don't need any actual physical people inside. Then of course, you've got your robot hoovers, you've got your AI driven home interfaces. I mean, it's just a matter of time. It really is before we just sit back, don't really do much and the robots just do it all for us. But of course, that reality is still a good few years away. So today we're gonna to concentrate on this little guy, which is of course Handy the Robot. And I must admit, it really is a great honor to be given this golden opportunity to test him out. So let's just start off with the actual packaging because this alone looks like whoever designed this must have a PhD in packaging because it really is phenomenal. I mean, I'm just gonna show you this box, okay? Now, if you're an eight year old or even just a child of any age and you see that on the shelf in a toy store, that's it, you want that. You want it no matter what. But even as an adult, I mean, it just looks truly impressive and it's got a good weight to it as well. It feels like you've got a high class quality product, but not to mention the actual design, the colors. I mean, look at it, it's just a, a selling point on its own. Now let's just quickly go over what it says. Obviously you've got the title there, Handy Blocks. You've got the robot himself, which looks just truly spectacular. And then here on the side, we've got it saying, STEM-based learning fun, basic coding and programming becomes a breeze with Handy. And you've got a story-driven role-playing game, help Handy defeat the evil space pirates very exciting and then we have the self-assembly fun build your own handy the robot of course expanding young minds so you have to build them yourself and then finally programming on your own phone or tablet so it's it is literally everything you've got your programming you've got your coding you've got your building your engineering you've got your gameplay and it's just everything that you would possibly want for your child is right here in this box now, even when you just open this up, it's from like a side panel opening. It's got like, a, it's like a briefcase from the future. And then inside you've got all your individual parts all nice and neatly packaged. I mean, it is, it's a genius design and it's very nice. And then you've got obviously your assembly guide, you've got your user manual. And then of course you have this, which is the five inch touch screen. I mean, that alone looks like something else. But before we have a little look at that, let's just show you some of this because this is the assembly guide and it's just, again, thought process has really gone into making this easy to understand. You've got pictures, you've got arrows, you've got everything you want to help put handy together. And then of course, you've got the user manual and you ready for this? Full color. And it will be multi-language, by the way. This is just the English version, but I've been told that it is going to be multi-language when it is actually released. Just for the box, the packaging alone, it gets 10 out of 10. But of course, the main thing you want to see here is this touchscreen, of course, along with Handy the Robot. But I've been told to turn this on straight away, and then I'll be given a bit of a backstory to how Handy the Robot actually came here and what his or our mission actually is. So there we go, a nice little backstory there shown through the power of CGI and 
you know what, is, again, looking at it from a child's point of view, they are just going to be wanting to build this and play with it. And that is the secret beauty of this toy, because although, yes, it is a toy, as soon as they start playing with it, or even just building it, assembling it, they are learning. They are learning as they play. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to assemble Handy and obviously time how long it takes because with me being slightly older, it shouldn't take too long, but I still think it's worth timing just to see how long it takes me. And then of course we're going to turn him on and just see what he actually has to offer. So here he is, he is assembled, he is ready to go, and it didn't actually take me that long. It only took me about 40 to 50 minutes to assemble him. So I think that was pretty cool, and I did actually enjoy the experience. But it turns out as well that you don't actually have to use the instruction manual to put them together. There is, in fact, a far better, more fun way to put them together, which I will talk about shortly. However, here he is. He's nice and big as well though, isn't he? And I don't know why, but I was expecting him to be a bit smaller, even considering the size of the box. But, I mean, he's massive. But he's not intimidating either. I mean, he's got that nice, friendly, approachable look. And obviously, straight away, there's two actual figures or robots that it already reminds me of. First off with the eyes, it's actually, remember Wally -E or Wally, -E, the Disney Pixar film? But also, for those 80s nostalgia fans out there, of course, you have Short Circuit or AKA Johnny Five, which again was another friendly robot. So he really is, he's just nice to look at and he feels solid. He absolutely does. I mean, if he falls off a table, if he gets knocked around a bit with your child, he will survive. But again, going back to this design, I mean, it's a shame from what I can see here that the hands themselves don't actually move on their own. But of course, they can be manually operated if you want to put something in his hands, something like that. But everything else does move or everything else is operated. I mean, you've got the camera here, which is a face recognizing camera or face recognition, sorry. The lights are full of LEDs. I think it's 16 individual LEDs which light up in pretty much any color you can imagine. And then, of course, you've got this huge five-inch touchscreen display, which is just nice on its own, even before you start messing around with it. You've got the microphone as well, which can actually record sounds. It's got it all. It really does. Now, just quickly going back to when I assembled him, I said there was another and more fun way to put them together. And there is, because like I said, you do have the uh, assembly guide, which is, comes in the instructions, or you can do it via the LCD display, which is a very nice and ingenious touch to this robot toy, because what it actually does, are you ready for this? There is, in fact, a full instruction manual on his LCD display. You can zoom in, you have a full 360 degree viewing angle of the parts that you are putting together. It's pretty cool, it really is. But then on top of that, at the end, once Handy is all assembled and completed, if there's something not quite right, maybe something in the wrong place, not fully inserted, he will tell you and then provide you with a full video on how to put it right. They thought of everything, they really have. And you know what? So far, every step of the way, if I was a child, I would be loving this. I would not be getting frustrated. I would be enjoying the challenge as well as still learning as I was playing. Now, as I'm sure my loyal viewers will know, what I usually do when I get an item is I do a quick unboxing, quick demonstration, and then just tell you how good or bad it actually is. But because this is such a momentous occasion, we have this exclusive robot. I'm actually going to take my time with Handy here. I'm going to properly try him out, go through the missions, try the basic coding and programming, and then come back to you with a full video demonstration, what worked, what didn't, and just really give you the full lowdown, as well as, of course, answer your questions, which of course will be how you can actually get one. A 
Okay then, so I couldn't resist that one. Had to open the scene with a bit of personal coding done by yours truly. And as you can see, I've been having a bit of a play around with Handy himself, doing his missions and just generally checking him out. And I've got to admit, overall, he is a fantastic piece of kit. But what exactly have I been discovering whilst I've been trying out this remarkable little robot? Well, let's start from the beginning. So once you've completed the very fun challenge of assembling Handy together, and of course watch the backstory as to why Handy is actually here, then of course you are greeted with the user interface on Handy's 5 inch touchscreen. And I've got to admit, it's actually quite nice. I mean, it's bright, it's colorful, it's inviting. But on top of that, what else you can do is that when you actually touch Handy, who is situated in his little laboratory there on screen, he will laugh, he will cry, whatever you want. He actually is interactive whilst he is there. This process alone was not required by the programmers or creators, but once again, it just goes to show how far they have actually gone. They've gone that extra mile to keep your child entertained. And of course, to teach you the responsibility as though this robot really is alive and he does require constant attention. Speaking of the actual interface, as you can see, you are given a whole host of options to play around with. So I'm just gonna quickly go through them all. Now, if we start off with the top left-hand corner, you will see a almost a face that is being scanned. But if you tap on this, this brings up the facial recognition camera. And basically what this allows Handy to do is to mimic whatever facial expression you are doing. So if you laugh, he will smile and laugh along with you. If you cry, of course he will cry. And if you show an angry face, for example, he will get angry. Then if we move down to the bottom left hand of the screen, we have a few objects that are there to help Handy on his missions. So for example here, we've got some flowers or something that looks like flowers that will actually help Handy feel very good and happy about himself. Press the little gem button next to the heart and then you will be given a few more additional options that you can actually give Handy to help him on his missions or throughout his day. Moving up to the top right hand part of the screen you will see two energy bars which is one for monies obviously that's the gold coin one and then we have a morale bar which is represented by it looks like a blue lightning symbol but I must warn you that you can't do your missions without any morale because he really will feel very down in the dumps which again teaches your child that responsibility of letting your robot or pet get his health back get his energy back before setting out on another difficult mission finally if you move down to the bottom lower right hand part of the screen you will see two basic options to either play or coding now the assembly part is of course where you can double check to make sure everything is in the correct order correct place you name it but then if you go into the actual settings, you can then access a few additional features such as you're maybe turning the Bluetooth on, the Wi-Fi on, etc., etc. But most importantly, the idle mode. Now idle mode is a very nice and very funny feature. This is where basically Handy is on his own and he will do whatever he can to get your attention. Now we have a choice here of leaving him either in idle mode indefinitely or maybe just for five or 10 minutes. But literally what he does, he will move around, he will sing, he will dance, he will laugh, he will cry, you name it. And he will keep on doing it until you come over and start to play with him. Now for the second option, which is coding, of course, that is very self-explanatory. That will enable you to start learning how to code and basically program Handy into doing whatever you want. Now, don't get me wrong, he won't start making your cups of tea for you, taking the dog for a walk, anything like that, but he can do a vast variety of little features. The coding sequence is actually quite simple to master, but I suppose the real challenge, especially for young children, will be using their imagination and trying to come up with a sequence of events that will allow Handy to freely move around and look even more real than he really is. So straight away, before you've even began playing the role-playing game that this Handy Blocks has to offer, the amount of replay value that this guy has is quite literally infinite. Then we finally arrive to the main feature of what Handy the Robot can actually offer, and that is of course the role-playing game. 
Now the game itself does involve coding and that is where it actually teaches your child about the basic programming and coding principles. But at the same time, it really is a very, very rewarding experience. Now as a quick overview, there are 30 missions in total and then after each individual mission, you will be rewarded with either some kind of treat or reward that will help Handy on further missions. And then once you accept the mission, you will then be given the task of creating some coding that will actually help him accomplish it. Now the main objective of the story is of course to help Handy make the world a better place. And of course there are little side stories as well, such as finding his creator. Sounds pretty simple, doesn't it? Well, let me tell you, there is actually quite a thought process needed before you can actually begin playing. Basically, when you start, you'll be given a brief overview of what this mission entails and what, of course, it is actually about. But you'll also notice that if you do decide to take on this mission, that some of Handy's little morale or energy bar will actually be depleted. But on top of that, you have to actually make sure you've got enough energy before you can actually go on the mission itself. So it really will make your child think and begin to plan ahead. Because if you have just dived straight in there, tried to do a mission, and then suddenly realise that you have to quit, you will receive a penalty for it. But going back to the actual reward system, there are actually a few additional hidden features that Handy has to offer once you complete a certain amount of missions. So like I've said, you will be gifted with maybe flowers or treats that you can actually give to Handy to help him feel a lot better or maybe just feel a little less hungry. After five missions, you will be given an AR experience, by which case you get to point your phone or smart device at Handy and then will be shown automatically on your screen how much you have progressed into making Handy's world a better place. And it really was a nice little touch that the designers or creators have put in there to help you stay motivated as well as concentrating on the actual task at hand. So for some people out there, upon first appearance, Handy may just look like another typical robot that is designed to help parents depart with their money. But when you actually begin to play with him, interact with him, learn about him, he is a truly unbelievable remarkable little toy and he just has so much potential in him it really is quite scary not to mention his overall friendly appearance he's inviting he's got his own touch screen you don't have to stay on your smartphone or smart device to actually play with him you can actually just use the screen that already comes supplied and even if the gameplay isn't something for you, you can then just begin coding and allowing Handy to become a real personality on his own whilst using yourself or your child's imagination to really build on his already amazing personality. One thing I will say, however, is I do feel that Handy Blocks is designed more for the younger generation because you know you can get other robots out there such as Cosmo, Vector, you name it. There are quite a few in this ever-growing robotics market. But for a child from the age of eight and upwards, this would be a dream presence. It really would. And it just looks fantastic. And I really do like it. But if you can't buy them yet, how are you supposed to get one of these? Well, luckily you have come to the right place because Handy Blocks is gonna go on a little crowdfunding campaign of his own via the website Indiegogo. And that campaign will start on November the 1st, 2018. Now, of course, if you've got any questions or comments that you'd like to ask me about the Handy Blocks, then you know what to do. Put them in the comment section below and I'll get back to you with the answer as quickly as possible. And of course, not forgetting, if you enjoyed this video and you like tech, then please show your appreciation by giving this video a fantastic thumbs up. And don't forget to hit me up on that classic subscribe button. But until next time, thank you once again for watching and I'll hopefully see you at some point very soon. Thank you.